Hello, my name is Brendan Tannum. I'd like to introduce you to one of the works of uh, William Blake, Milton. And um, I'd like to start with the preface, which is quite short, and then make a few comments at the end of it. The stolen and perverted writings of Homer and Ovid, of Plato and Cicero, which all men ought to condemn, are set up by artifice against the sublime of the Bible. But when the new age is at leisure to pronounce, all will be set right, and those grand works of the more ancient and consciously and professedly inspired men will hold their proper rank, and the daughters of memory shall become the daughters of inspiration. Shakespeare and Milton were both curbed by the general malady and infection from the silly Greek and Latin slaves of the sword. Rouse up, O young men of the new age, set your foreheads against the ignorant hirelings, for we have hirelings in the camp, the court, and the university, who would if they could forever depress mental and prolong corporeal war. Painters, on you I call. Sculptors, architects, suffer not the fashionable fools to depress your powers by the prices they pretend to give for contemptible works, or the expensive advertising boasts that they make of such works. Believe Christ and his apostles that there is a class of men whose whole delight is in destroying. We do not want either Greek or Roman models, if we are but just and true to our own imaginations. Those worlds of eternity in which we shall live forever, in Jesus our Lord. And did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green? And was the Holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen? And did the countenance divine shine forth upon our clouded hills, and was Jerusalem builded here among these dark satanic mills? Bring me my bow of burning gold, bring me my arrows of desire, bring me my spear, O clouds unfold, bring me my chariot of fire. I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. Would to God that all of the Lord's people were prophets. Numbers 11, verse 29. So Blake had no love for the classics or the philosophers or Greeks or Romans in that, that era. He didn't like their warlike dispositions, of course, and their empires. But most of all, he didn't like the um, the focus on 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 reason that became a um, an obsession in in, in um, Greek philosophy that really limited the the power of the imagination to look for the realities of life. Now, sure enough, while Blake is supporting religion, um, we wouldn't want to think that his understanding of the Bible or his understanding of Christianity, is anything like ours. It isn't. While the Bible preached of a release of the captives from sin in the book of Isaiah, Blake would preach the release of the captives from single vision, the ability to see the world only in two dimensions, and never to be able to see through to the higher reality. He ends the, prof, the preface with that wonderful song, poem that became the song. And um, of course, it, the, um, the idea in Britain in its day was that it was a new Zion that it had been built on the principles that came to Britain through our Judeo-Christian heritage. But in the days of the Industrial Revolution, um, it seemed anything but. So it was curious that that song... Um, you know, becomes so popular with people singing um, a meaning into it that wasn't the, um, really there. So 
beautiful song, very jingoistic, very passionate, but um, the poem is really telling a very, very sad story of, of where what the state of Britain was at the time. And the only way um, Blake believed to get away from it was to make it a mental fight. He believed that artists should be the ones who would do it. And artists, sadly, were mainly selling out. They were propping up worldly illusions of grandeur for pay. So he looked on it as his business in life to tell the truth through his art. So that's the end of the preface and um, I'll get on to book one shortly. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.